So, uh, what are the other um, theorems that um, Tikamaro refers to in his article? So, there are four more and uh, I think uh, this will give you a clear idea of uh, how much is there to learn in each of these articles, how much depth and uh, such a lot of uh, interesting things uh, that are conveyed in such a systematic manner. The, one of the theorems that uh, Tikamaro refers to in this article is the uh, famous uh, theorem by Euler. Um, now, he's given a very um, systematic uh, proof for this. And uh, this one, I will have to write it myself because I haven't found an English version of this, the way it is presented by him. Now, uh, this will involve some uh, sequences and uh, series and uh, limits. So, this is more suitable for uh, class uh, 11 and class 12. Maybe the uh, 10th and 9th grade can keep out of this. The next theorem is uh, 1 by Lagrange. Uh, so, Tikamura talks about the fact that uh, Lagrange was very simple and humble and uh, highly liked by his colleagues. All his colleagues had uh, a lot of nice things to say about him. He has some fundamental uh, contributions in uh, mechanics. And one of his uh, number theory uh, theorems is that every, every natural number can be expressed as a sum of four squares of integers. And uh, some of these integers can be uh, repeated. So this proof also I will be writing because I have not found an English version. The, there are two more uh, theorems that um, are mentioned in this article and uh, one of them is by Fermat and um, he addresses the question which all prime can be expressed as a sum of uh, two distinct, uh, they can't be identical, uh, squares. So, uh, an example can uh, make this much more clearer. So, if you look at odd primes, uh, odd primes are primes not two, uh, if you look at the odd primes, then um, and we need to check uh, some of them, uh, which one of them are expressible as a sum of two distinct squares. It will turn out that uh, uh, these uh, primes will be uh, it will be possible. The rest of them are primes of the form four uh, n plus three, while these are uh, primes of the form four n plus one because they leave a remainder of 1 when you divide by 4 and uh, this is um, yeah, 4 plus 1 5 this one is 4 plus 9 and uh, 17 is equal to 4 square plus 1 square so primes or primes of the form 4 n plus 1 can be expressed as a sum of two distinct squares. There is an existence proof for this by Fermat. The converse is also true. That is, uh, if a prime or prime is uh, expressible as the sum of two distinct squares, then n has to be of the form uh, 4n plus 1. Now, this one is uh, very easy to prove for you based on what you learned last time. Um, so, you can do that. But the real uh, powerful statement is the other way around that if you have an odd prime of the form 4 plus 1, then you can definitely uh, break it up into some of two distinct squares. So, Fermat had an idea for the proof and um, it, that proof was completed by Euler and therefore this is known as the uh, Fermat-Euler theorem. In the article, Tikamaro presents a proof by Lagrange uh, where uh, it's, a very, uh, it's a proof that you can follow pretty easily if you sit down with the paper and pencil. And uh, this uh, proof, he uses Wilson's theorem. Now, Wilson's theorem 
theorem itself, the first proof of Wilson's theorem was given by Lagrange, so he was well versed with the Wilson's theorem, and he also exploited it to give a proof for uh, Fermat's theorem, Fermat Euler theorem. Now, uh, Tikamura also uh, talks about um, two more proofs uh, for this theorem. While uh, these uh, three proofs were presented in an article in Quant, the Russian magazine, but I was able to find this article, an English version of this same article in uh, Quantum, which is the English version of this Quant, which ran between uh, 1990 and 2001. So I don't have to work too hard here. I just uh, have uploaded this magazine, which uh, the particular issue which contains this uh, all the three proofs by Tikhonov, and uh, one of them, for instance, is a little modern, and uh, Tikhonov says that uh, it's almost like magic. It's a proof out of nothing, and there's one proof by Minkowski. So I guess um, all of which you should be able to understand. Now the last. Uh, theorem that uh, we talk about uh, in this uh, particular uh, article is by Gauss. Is there anything else about the Fermat theorem? Ha! Huh, I forgot to mention that uh, the question can be continued uh, a little bit more further, uh, and the even we can ask uh, we can ask the question which numbers. Uh, natural numbers can be represented as a sum of two squares. Now, this uh, with a little bit more work, you can uh, get the uh, answer for that, and you will find it in any standard uh, number theory textbook. Alternatively, I you can go to uh, this book, proofs from the book, which um, will uh, complete the whole theory for you. It's not a lot of extension from what you've already done so far. Finally, um, there's this talk about the theorem of Gauss, who gave a uh, construction for a 17-sided um, regular polygon. Now, Gauss did this at the age of 24, and uh, he was particularly proud of this achievement. The question was, uh, which lasted for a few centuries, was which of the regular polygons can be constructed by a, um, I mean, you didn't mention this, by Compass and uh, Miller. And uh, Gauss was able to give a uh, nice answer if the number of sides is a product of distinct uh, Fermat primes uh, multiplied by 2 raised to some um, k then uh, this particular polygon can be uh, constructed by Compassens ruler. Now these are uh, Fermat primes which are of the form uh, uh, primes of the, which can be expressed in this form uh, are called Fermat primes. For instance when n is equal to 0 you have uh, the Fermat prime is equal to uh, 3 then n is equal to 1, we have when the Fermat prime is equal to 5, and when n is equal to 2, then we have the Fermat prime is equal to 17, and so on. And uh, for n is equal to 5, it's not a prime, and uh, I think no other Fermat primes have been discovered. So, uh, so for uh, these, uh, for particularly for um, n is equal to 17, um, he was able to give a, a clear algorithm uh, to construct it with composite and ruler. And this also um, is given very neatly in the articles, the final thing, and uh, I'll have to document it.